It's really not about what people think of you, it's just about whether or not you're happy doing what you're doing. JN Design is a creative consultancy. I help influencers find their brand, like web advertisements, logos, motion graphics. I was always very interested in like illustration. I would draw letters and like do typography and didn't have any of the language to know what it was. I was just drawing them because I thought it was fun. And eventually in high school, I took a class in graphic design and I had a really amazing teacher that saw something in me and told me I should keep pursuing it. And she was literally the only person that had ever said that to me. So I went with it. <laughs> I ended up working for my university and I led a team of designers and I was helping people learn how to create great designs and make great creative choices. I was just doing things for friends right when I graduated. I didn't have a website, did not know that GoDaddy would help me in the way that they did. Then I kind of got obsessed with it. I loved making it. I loved making everything flow really well. And I mean, GoDaddy has a great website builder too. And I felt like really in control of my career. So that was really cool. That's really how it all started. I, I did need like that extra little push to turn it into something. I just like having all of my business going to one phone number and going to one email. Smartline's great too, because because not only does it type out all of my voicemails, it types out the phone conversation. I think that's really helpful because I think it's a really important thing is not being trapped without like a paper trail of showing like what you agreed on and what you're being paid and things like that. So it makes it really easy. Things that I find inspiring are, you know, fashion and makeup. Today I'm just gonna go for something loud. I have been obsessed with fashion since a really young age. I would have never referred to it as like a fashion interest. I just liked images. I just liked the images that people could create. I'm gonna try as a hand. Like you're, ugh, I'm so tired. Those are cool. And then do you like the eye thing, but do you like both, both. of them? Yeah, that I feel like is hard. <laughs> I met a photographer, his name was Scott Mars, and he had this really, really diverse creative background. He would do photography, he did graphic design, painting, and I just thought it was so interesting how he combined all of that. It was just a really incredible experience. So that's really what brought me to do makeup and modeling more. Those forms of art I use when I'm designing for whatever client I have. Luckily, the clients that I work for, they have so much personality that it's really easy for me to kind of pick and pull what I want to use and what works well for them. So this one here is for the Trans Day of Visibility. One big thing with this one is I wanted there to be the trans flag colors. And usually that's like a light baby pink and a light blue and a white stripe in the middle. And you can see all the little details. It's just really powerful. Five years from now, I can see it being more than just graphic design. And I still don't think I've tapped into what it is that I want to focus on, especially when I'm trying to do like three different kind of things at once. I absolutely have gotten advice saying to pick one. There's something that always told me not to listen to it because I wanted to just explore everything. You should never have to pick one. There's always going to be opportunity for artists because no one can create what you create. Success is freedom. Being able to do what I want, create what I want, and still make a living doing it. I'm already successful. I'm already happy.